Hello folks, today I'm gonna show you how to sing harmonies as a duet. Hello, this is your friend Cesar Benzoni and welcome to my channel. This is the first video of a three-part series of videos that I'm doing on harmony singing. This one is gonna focus on duet, the second one on a three-part harmonies and the third one in a four-part harmonies. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you can be notified uh, when the other videos are out. And at the end of this video we're gonna have a sing-along part so we can sing harmonies, you and me. So what is harmony? What is harmony singing? In country music it's really common to hear at least two-part harmonies, but mainly three-part harmonies and four-part harmonies is really popular in this genre. Harmony happens when two or more notes are sung together. It is a sum of intervals, chords, interpretation and mainly taste. We're not gonna focus on anything complex, I'm gonna show you the basic things you need to understand to be able to sing harmonies. So let's talk about intervals. If you consider a stair with eight steps, let's consider that every step has a number. So number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how we're gonna think the notes. You're probably familiar with the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. So each one of those notes were to think about uh, one of those steps. So let's say, for example, the scale of C major. We can say that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The intervals are the relationship in between the steps in the stairs. So let's say we have the note C here. That's the one. So one, two, three. Here we have an interval of a third. Because this one is the third degree of the C. That's the E, it's the third degree of C. If I keep going up, three, four, five. That's the fifth. In relationship to the C. Remember, we're always thinking relationship in between the notes. And now we're going to talk about quality of the chord. So let's say the third. One, two, three. The third determines the quality of the chord, if it is major or if it's minor. So uh, the major third. Minor third. You see, it changes a lot. And that's why it's important intonation when singing harmonies, because if you get uh, slightly sharp or slightly flat, you can change the whole configuration, you can change the whole sound of the chord you're forming. So if everyone is singing a C major, and if you're a bit flat, you can be doing, and you'll be screwing it all. For more on intervals, uh, visit the website Theoria that means theory, theoria.com. I'll leave the link in the description below. They have a very straightforward way of showing you how intervals work. Now as a practical example, I'm gonna sing to you the song I Don't Believe You Met My Baby by the Louvin Brothers, who are really popular and famous for their harmony singing. Last night, my dear, the rain was falling. I went to bed to sad and blue. You see that in a duet, comparing to uh, three-part harmonies or four-part, the second voice has way more freedom because uh, this voice won't be going in on the top of someone else because there's only the the main and you. So you can jump from a interval of a third to an interval of a fifth. And in a three-part, you will sing the third and another one will be singing the fifth. It's interesting to notice that in the song, uh, one singer is singing lead and then he jumps to the harmony while the other one comes in to sing the lead. And from that point on, he keeps, uh, he, he's the, the lead singer till the end of the, the phrase. So the lead singer does. Last night, my dear, the rain was falling. No harmony there. And then it goes. I went to bed so sad and blue. 
and the other voice he doesn't say the words he just follow with vowels trying to match the end of the voice so he goes I went to bed so he goes I went to bed blue and then the melody goes then I had a dream of you one possibility for the, the second voice would be following the melody all the time. So it would be Then I had a dream of you But instead he chooses one note that it's in the chord of, of E major and he stays on that note while the melody goes up Then So he holds the note E. Then I had a dream of you. He's creating a kind of a tension here. You. And resolves. So you always need to find a, a sound of a chord that makes sense with the progression of chords uh, on the song. If you're jamming and trying to sing harmonies on the fly, Try to use the first half of the song, or this, the first chorus, to understand the melody, to know where is it going, to know if it's going up or down. And then in the second time around, you try to sing melody, even up or down. It's really important to notice how we're always forming chords. Even this uh, two-part harmonies, if I don't play the guitar, you will hear exactly the chords of the song. You will know where the song is going chord-wise. I will sing a cappella and you try to focus only on hearing the chords that the two voices are forming. Ready? One, two, three. Last night, my dear, the rain was falling. I went to bed so sad and blue. Then I had a dream of you. If you're singing the same note as the lead singer or the melody, you're not singing harmony. Unless you're doing something intentional like uh, in the song She Loves You from the Beatles, for example. They go, you think you lost your love. And the other voice goes, you think you lost your love. It goes down. So they, they sing together. And at the end, at the, the very end, they go, one voice goes up and the other voice goes down. So that's intentional, obviously. It sounds too obvious, but you'd be amazed of the amount of time that I was singing uh, lead and someone jumps in to try to sing harmonies and they sing the same note as me. So stay away of the lead. So I'm going to show you another example in another song from the Louvin brother called When I Stop Dreaming. <laughs> This one is really interesting because the, the lead vocals does some, some embellishments. He's doing the third. When I... That's the third for the chord of, of A. When I... Like a, a pedal steel, he adds this, this ninth. When I stop dreaming, dreaming, that's when I stop loving you. He goes five, four, three, and then it becomes the one again for the chord of A. And the second voice goes, when I, while the other voice goes, So it's really interesting that, that that pedal steel sensation here. Stop dreaming. That's when I stop loving you. Here as well. Attention and resolve. So hopefully now you can open a second voice when you hear a melody. Of course, for it to fix in your head, you need to repeat, repeat, do it again, listen, try to sing along. 
try to start with some easy and simple melodies, nothing too complex, because the more you do, the more you repeat, easier it gets, and you'll be able to master it someday. So let's jump into the fun part, the sing-along part. We're gonna go back to the song I Don't Believe You Met My Baby. I'm gonna start on lead and jump to the harmony. In the second part, I'm gonna sing the lead and stay till the end, like I showed you before. Last night, my dear, the rain was falling. Dream I was strolling in the evening. I was thinking about you. Now let's swap. One, two, three, four. I went to bed so sad and blue. Then I had a dream of you That was lovely, very good job. And if you want me to sing harmonies in your song or if you want us to work together, just visit the website yodelstudio.com and hit me a message there. And also follow me on Instagram where I post tips and tricks on the stories. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button here in this channel to stay tuned of the other videos that I'm gonna do in harmony singing. Thanks very much, see you in the next video and I wish you a lovely day.